Alright, what's up everybody, it's your boy Mr. FP. I'm doing a quick tutorial video on the Mixer Interactive. And the reason that I've been stressing Mixer Interactive so much is because um, that gives you the ability to be featured, and featured means that you get put on the front page of Mixer, which will get you like a lot of views and a lot of uh, follows. So it's very essential that people do uh, work on this. So the first thing you're going to do is go to, let's see. Okay, so you go to the Mixer page, obviously, and then go to Developer Lab. Now, you're in the lab, and the way it works, essentially, is you have your Developer Lab, which is through Mixer, and then you get Firebot, which actually lets you put in um, all the things that you want to pop up on screen. So I can show you guys, for instance, mine right now. So download Firebot. You can go to Firebot Interactive, search it on Google, and download that and then enable it like you're enabling anything into your stream. So here's what it's gonna look like when the whole thing is finished. And I have different sounds. <laughs> that one's broken, I don't know what's wrong with that. So that's all those, right? I just do a couple sounds because I don't really want to get into anything crazy. This is gonna be very simple. I'm sure there's better videos of more explanations that are like 15, 20 minutes long. This is gonna be like a five to six minute video. So here we go. Once you're on your interactive page and you have Firebot downloaded, go ahead and click New Project. Let's title this test. And I really don't want to mess with anything. Um, and then we'll say Fortnite. Because I stream Fortnite only because I'm a uh, no life. So I'll go to Fortnite. And the first thing is you're going to get this page. You can upload a background and all this stuff. Literally, do not touch any of that. Don't touch any of that. Go straight to code. And you're going to... to copy this into the firebot um, so let's say I change my board add a new board uh, I copy this code into firebot and you saw how I did that's pretty simple um, so I'm gonna add the board all right so now I have nothing in there because I don't have any buttons created so you make all the buttons and then you add the features through firebot so let's say I go um, to build and then I go down to um, controls so the way you do it is you either add a button a joystick a label literally just use buttons it's fun just using buttons I mean if you want to go more <clears throat> more advanced do it but for right now let's just add a button and let's name it test number one um, and you click add and I'll make a couple of these let's do three let's do uh, two just because I mean three just because so I don't feel like doing this forever I'm just making it quick simple for you guys to understand the next thing you're going to do is go to uh, the test button and you're going to do the colors of it. So let's say you want to change the colors. Whatever you want to do, that's fine. How many sparks it can cost. You can all do all that stuff. The only thing you can't do in Firebot is change the color. So let's say I want to change the color to red. Um, so I'll add to the property. Um, I mean, just just leave it. And then you can just hit, you can literally just go back and hit X and it will go, it'll be fine. That's what I do. Then I just do this and um, I name it test 2. And I just do a color, I do this color, and then I just go X. And then I name this one. You have to name them again, I know it's weird. Because this is what's pop up. This is what pop ups on the screen. What pop ups? I can't say anything. And let's just do that color and then X. Um, and this one doesn't have a name, so let's give this one a name. Test one. And X. Okay, boom. So now that those are made, you have to drag them. So this is your desktop, this is your mobile, uh, your tablet, and this is your mobile device, right? So each one is going to look different on different screen. It's because they're different platforms, right? So you grab them and you drag them, and you have to save every time you do it. So let's say I just want them spaced out like this. Um, you can make them unique. You can do whatever you want to do. I can show you mine if you want to look at mine. You're more than welcome to come to my stream and look at it. So that's that one. So I hit save, and then I want to do the phone one. So I'll drag them all. Do you guys get the idea on this? You have to drag them. So this is the way it's going to look when people are looking at them, and they're going to click them. Save and then this one. It's gonna be smaller because it's a phone, so you just drag them as you can see very simply. Check them out. Save, right? So that's all in Firebot. So now we're gonna open up. Uh, I mean, interactive. So now we can open up Firebot. Sorry. And if I refresh this, let's refresh it real quick. Mm, try. I might have to exit out of it. Let me change board to the test. We change back to a different board. And then dot a test. Let me, let me refresh it. It should be pulling up. If not, maybe I'm just stupid. 
And why I'm pulling this up, guys, if you haven't checked out my stream, it's uh, Mixer.com slash MrFP. I stream only on Mixer, and I stream mostly Fortnite. I'm thinking about doing some variety of streams in the future, but right now, Fortnite is just too fun of a game, dude. Yes, so here we go. I reloaded it, and now it's working. So I guess you have to reload it. So right now, if you click them, they do nothing, right? They're named Test 3, Test 2, and Test uh, that. So if you if right now, if you have them um, set up, there would be nothing that people can click. So the first thing you're going to do is... Uh, Name them what you want to name them. So let's name this one Sad. Just because if you die, someone wants to hit it. And the Sparks, so this is only through Mixer. The Sparks are what you get through Mixer for watching streams. You get you can compile them. So the more streams you watch, the more Sparks you get. And you use them for interactive board. So let's say I want 100 Sparks for this and the cooldown to be 60 seconds, so about a minute each. And then what effect do you want it to do? I'm not going to go through every effect. I'm going to go for the ones which I think you're probably going to use. So they have a bunch of their own, like... Stuff pops up in chat, rolls a dice in chat, delays, like, stuff like that. That's all fun and good, but I think most of the time you're going to use, like, either a, a, a song, a video, or an image, or maybe something in chat. So let's do a song, a video, and an image. Um, so play a sound. So literally choose a sound. So I have a, I have a couple sounds already saved on here. Uh, let's see what sounds do I have. This is the original yeet, like, yeet! I'm going to use that one. Let's say I make it freaking loud because why not? Add it, save the changes, and now when I click it, um, I'm going to hit, and it's going to pop up. Number two, let's do a, um, same thing, 100 sparks, 60 seconds, uh, video, I don't know, I don't know if I have any videos saved, so I don't know about this. Add the effect, so let's do a video. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I should do a chat thing, you'll get the idea for how video works. So chat, let's say, I want it to say, uh, pooper... Pooper Scooper. Because I'm immature. So I add it to chat. So basically when I click that, um, do I have my chat pulled up? Mm -mm -mm. Let me pull up my chat so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, and then I go to my live chat and I click. <coughs> no, it's the wrong one. It pops up in my chat. I can't share you guys because it's not pulled up right now, but it pops up in the chat. Um, but you have to have it connected to your services. So once I do that, then it'll pop up. Okay, that's the problem. So I have it connected to my overlay um, right there and my chat. So you have to click that to connect it to your mixer and everything like that. So you can go through settings and do that if you want. Um, so go to general, connected, interactive, chat, connect your chat, and then overlay you copy the overlay path like you're copying into like a browser source so if you don't know what a browser source is and check out my other videos on browser sources and stuff like that so connect those and then now it works so when i click video it says pooper scooper i can show you on this screen right here i didn't type that it just does that so if i pull up this i can spam the chat pooper scooper ten thousand times okay and then the last one, let's say I want to do, um, what have I not done? Let's say I want to do an image. Yeah, let's do an image. And let's choose a file. What images do I have? Okay, so this is the Lord, our Savior, Ninja. I use him on some other stuff. You can pick where you want it on the overlay, so I want it right here, um, over my cam. So I would rather let people see my face. Do the dimensions if you want. I don't think you're required to, but if you want to make it perfect, you can. Add it, save changes, and it should be already connected, so let me see. If I pull up my Streamlabs, um, what I'm looking at. Streamlabsception right now. Uh, let's go to editor. Yeah, so I, sorry about that, guys. And let's click, uh, I'll bring this over here on my other screen, but I'm gonna hit the test. Is it connected to my overlay right now? Hold on. Hey, stop it. Stop chewing that. Sorry, my dog's chewing my chair like a dumbo. Um, doo -doo 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 oh, let me copy this overlay in and I'll show you how to do that. Because that's probably essential anyway. So, let's copy the overlay in because I think it's new. I have to copy a new overlay. Um, settings. So, let's get the overlay. Get overlay path. Copy this. 
Go to your Streamlabs. Okay, I don't really want to use. Let's just use it on this new scene just for a test. And let's add a new um, overlay, which is a browser source, which is right here. Browser source. Then click Add Source, and then um, name it Fire Bot. Add new source. Typed it wrong. Make I make it the whole screen. Um, so you can stretch the screen like there we go and so then when you click it so now I'm gonna hit firebot and it should be connected now yep so see it's green now that was my bad um, and that's how you put the overlay into your stream so for the images and the videos and stuff like that the sound will automatically go through all right so now let's try that right, let's see it and there you go ninjas in so if I pull this on the other screen Ninja's there. He's saying what's up to the stream so the stream can do that. I hope this has been a good video for y'all. If y'all need any more advanced questions, come to my stream, mixer.com slash mrfp. Um, if you really liked the video, drop a like. And yeah, there you go, guys.